Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a basic weaving pattern. You will need two pieces of base wires you're choosing. I'm using 20 gauge wire and the weaving wire I'm using is 28 gauge. And again, you do not have to use this size of wire, um, but here is the, the basic weave I'm going to show you. So if it's easier, you can start with just one wire and you're going to use your um, weaving wire with a little tail. Place it on the back side of that wire and pinch it with your index finger and your thumb. Now take your other hand and you're going to coil around the wire once, twice, three times. And you will probably have some gaps between your coils. That's okay. Just go ahead and use your fingers to squish those coils together. And now you're secure to the wire. From here, we're going to take the other wire, place it on top, and again, you're using, and it depends if you're left-handed or right-handed, but my left hand is going to be holding everything together, and then my right hand will do the weaving. So watch that your wires don't get crisscrossed. You want to keep them open over here and close together on this side. Now using your other hand, wrap around both of the wires, one, two, three times. And then again, squish everything together. So now we have three coils around the bottom wire and three coils over both of the wires. Do the same thing again, but now you have both of the wires in your hand. So you wanna make sure that first you create a little ledge with your index finger and you're gonna lift up that's going to make sure that there's a certain amount of tension on the wire so it's nice and tight around your base wire. Not um, loose or not too tight that it bends the base wire, but enough tension that you have a nice snug coil around. So we're going to lift, go between the two wires, and then either use your index finger or your thumb to push that coil all the way in that's two already, we're going to lift, go between, push it in. So now you can see our 3-3 three, three pattern coming along. Let's go ahead and do over the top one, two, three. Squish. So here's what our 3-3 three, three weave is looking like as we get going. And just so you don't think you have to limit yourself to three and three, you can do the same pattern, but change the number of coils that you put on each wire. So on this one, I've done eight around the bottom and then two over both of the wires. So that's gonna start to change the look of your weave just by changing the amount of coils that you put around both. Uh, do make sure that when you're finishing that wherever you are you want to try to uh, make your last coil just around a single wire. So we call that a single wire coil. That'll make sure that your weaving wire is secure and doesn't come undone. Thanks for watching everyone and I will be back with more of these very quick uh, little reference videos and I'll be showing you a new weave next time. Have a nice day everyone, thanks.